So I have this really good says, I have QuickBooks Online and I have an old asset account sitting on my balance sheet. How can I delete it? Note, this asset account actually has a balance. Great question, and that's actually really important, the fact that you mentioned that the account has a balance. Now, I'm going to make a quick plug to another video I created called Hidden Transactions in QuickBooks Online. It's a 30-minute video that kind of explains all the consequences of deleting and creating accounts, customers with balances, and what kind of hidden transactions get created behind the scenes. So that video is going to go pretty in-depth of this concept, but I'm going to answer just this question, which says, how can I delete an account in my QuickBooks Online? So let's start by looking at QuickBooks Online sample file. I'm currently looking at a profit and loss report, and I chose all dates. I noticed that I have all these income accounts, expense accounts, etc. So I'm going to start with a with 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 a type of account that's not a balance sheet account, with a profit and loss account. I'm going to delete one of the accounts, kind of so you can see what happens when I delete an account. So I'm going to take this account called Plants and Soil that has a running balance because it's a profit and loss. That means we've used it in the past. And I'm just going to go ahead, go into the chart of accounts and delete it. So I'm going to go in the chart of accounts. I'll select here Plants and Soil. I'm going to click on the drop down menu on the action columns. And then I'm going to click on Make Inactive. Now remember, QuickBooks doesn't have a delete button for accounts. So you can only make them inactive. That's just kind of how it works. Now I'm deleting an income account, which is a profit and loss account. And the question that it says, hey, are you sure you want to make this inactive? And then I click yes. So there's no further questions. It just did it. Now I'm going to go back into the profit and loss so we can see what kind of consequences or quote unquote consequences it has to delete an account that has information in it. It has numbers in it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on run report. So I'm going to refresh the profit and loss report. And you notice that the account is still there. There's just a parenthesis that says deleted next to it. Notice that the dollar amount, it's still there. So you saw the process of deleting an account or making an active, an account that's an income account, expense account, something that belongs in the profit and loss. However, the question is, um, I want to delete an old asset account, which is a balance sheet account. So let's say, for example, I'm looking at the balance sheet and I'm going to pick uh, today's date as the example and click on run report. And then based on the report that, that I'm looking at, I see all sorts of assets, liabilities, accounts with a balance. Let's take a look at this account called Truck Original Cost that has a balance of $13,495. i am going to make uh, the decision to delete that account that has a running balance. I'm going to go into the chart of accounts. I'm going to type here Truck. There it is. And I think it was called Original, original Cost. There we go. So this account called Truck Original Cost, I'm going to click on the drop down menu under Action and edit it real quick just to make sure we're looking at the right account. It's called Original Cost and it's a sub account of Truck. Let me just look at the balance sheet real quick, make sure we're looking at that. Account is Truck, sub account Original Cost. Okay, perfect. So we're looking at the correct account at this point. So this account has a running balance of 13495 the same thing that you're seeing in the balance sheet. I'm going to click on the little triangle on the actions column, and then I'm going to click on make inactive, just like I did with the profit and loss account. But notice that now I get a different warning message. Now it says this account has a non-zero balance. Inactivating the account will cause an adjustment into uh, QuickBooks that will be created. Are you okay with that? And then I'm going to click on yes. So it's still for the user, uh, it's pretty seamless to just delete the account. Now notice that once I deleted the account, it says delete it next to it. I'm going to click on the little gear menu on the right hand side and I can choose to uh, include the inactive or exclude the inactive. So if I uncheck include inactive, I'm no longer going to see the original cost account because I deleted it. It's really inactivated, but that's how QuickBooks Online works. If I click on include inactive again, then I can see it. So at least I have uh, access to it. So it's been deleted. It's inactive. I have access to looking at it on the chart of accounts. However, because I deleted it, QuickBooks is going to get rid of it, but it's also going to make an adjusting entry to zero out that transaction. So I'm going to click on Run Report to refresh the balance sheet, and then I'm going to scroll down, and you notice that the fixed asset account for the truck original cost is no longer there. And the reason why it's different on the balance sheet is because an actual entry to zero that out, it's made. So when I click on the, on the magnifying glass on the top right-hand side, 
I get to see all the recent transactions and I can click on the most recent transaction done in 921, which is the day I recorded this video. And when I open that, you're gonna see a journal entry and you get to see that my truck original cost, which has now been deleted, has been credited for the amount that was in the balance sheet and has been adjusted against opening balance equity. Now, what should that be adjusted against? That's where the accountant comes, to, comes in, into play and depending on the context, the accountant would make a decision where that would go. I mean, that could go in many places, but opening balance equity, it's probably the wrong place for it to go. Anyway, well, that's how QuickBooks moves adjustments. It puts them into opening balance equity and that's it. Like, like I said, in the description, I'll put a link to a video where I explain this opening balance equity concept more in depth. Now I'm gonna close that and go back and look at the balance sheet for a second. And I'm gonna choose a date that is be, uh, that's be before today. So I'm gonna select today again and then click on run report. And then notice that the account is gone, okay? As, as we showed you just now. I'm gonna bring this back one day to the 20th, which is yesterday. Uh, on, based on the day we recorded this video and click on run report and then we're going to see that the account does show up in there is showing up there as deleted with the balance now I'm, I'm actually going to choose the date range to include yesterday and also include today and then under display columns by I'm going to do by days and then click on run report and it's going to be much much clearer now I can look at the balance sheet and see look on September 20th which was yesterday we had a balance for 13,495. However, on September 21st, which is today, which is the day we deleted the account, now we have a balance of zero. So it's significantly different when you delete an account that's a balance sheet account, asset liability equity, versus a profit and loss account. Now I wanna show you something that's pretty interesting. If I go back into chart of accounts and I click on the gear menu here and make sure that including active is checked, and then I click on make active on the action column, basically reversing my actions. Once I do that and I go back into my balance sheet, I'm gonna click on run report one more time. And you're gonna notice because I made it active again, it removed the deleted uh, tag or the deleted uh, additional memo next to the account. However, it did not reverse the value uh, of that adjustment because that adjustment is permanent. So if I wanted to reverse that as well, I would have to literally go uh, back into my transactions, pull up the journal entry, and delete the journal entry that was created by QuickBooks when I deleted the account. So that's a really important concept that when QuickBooks deletes a balance sheet account, it creates, forces this adjust, adjustment entry, and even if you were to bring the account back, it doesn't reverse it. I'm gonna click on Run Report one more time, and then we're gonna notice that now is identical or back to normal. So again, that's how you delete or inactivate an account in QuickBooks Online and the different consequences that it has, whether it's a profit and loss account or a balance sheet account. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you on the next one. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click on that notification bell so you'll know when I post a new video. Remember, when you subscribe, I can monetize and it supports the channel financially. Thanks.